Let's quickly solve this problem. Now, a lot of people are going to make an error here. Let's see if we can figure it out. So we have two times three over two plus three, and this is a multiple choice question, and our answers are A, one, B, two, C, three, and D, 1.2. All right, now put your calculator away and try to figure this out all on your own. But before we get started, let me tell you who I am. My name is John, and I have been teaching math for decades. And if you need help in math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. The link is below. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this right now. Okay, so the correct answer here is D1.2. And if you got this right, you definitely get a nice little happy face and an A+. Plus. Fantastic. Now, probably the number one wrong answer here is A, which is 1. And the reason why people got this answer is they thought that 2 and 3 up here in the numerator, these are factors, but they also thought maybe that 2 and 3 down here in the denominator are also factors. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm going to fully explain this in just one second. But what a lot of people did here is they cross-canceled this 2 with this 2, and this three with this three, and they said, you know what, this looks pretty good. I think the answer is one. Again, this is probably the number one wrong answer because this is such a common math error. So let's take a look at a few examples on exactly how this works. So really what we're talking about here is simplifying fractions. So let's take a look at this example right here. We have 12 over 16, and we know that 12 is equal to four times three, and 16 is equal to 4 times 4. So if you wanted to reduce this fraction, well, what you're really doing is cross-canceling like factors. In other words, 4 and 3 are factors of 12 because 4 times 3 is equal to 12. And 4 times 4 are factors of 16 because 4 times 4, the product of 4 and 4, is in fact 16. So these numbers are separated by multiplication. So multiplication... Uh, the multiplication operator is either a little x like that or a little dot like so. So I can write this problem in this way as well. All right, so when you are simplifying a fraction, you want to be on the lookout for like factors. In other words, the same number in the numerator and the denominator when you have these numbers factored. So you can see here we have a 4 in the numerator. We also have a 4 down in the denominator. Now we also have another 4, but you can only cross-cancel one factor, one number per one number. So unless I had another four up in the numerator, I can't uh, cross cancel this four. But if you have like factors, you can cross cancel and what's left over is the answer. So to reduce 12 over 16, you're really uh, breaking up these numbers into its factors, looking for like factors, cross canceling them. And uh, what's left over is the reduced fraction. In this case, it's three fourths. Okay, so if you understand that, you can see why this is wrong, because this 2 and 3 down here, this uh, the way it's written, this is a sum. It's not multiplication, so these are not factors, so you cannot cross-cancel these numbers. Let's take a look at some more examples. Real quick, if you want my best math instruction, you definitely got to check out my full courses. Again, you can find links to these in the description of this video, but they span basic math to advanced math and everything in between. Okay, so let's keep going with this problem, and don't forget to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's take a look at two more examples where people will make this type of an error. So here we have 2 plus 10 over 2. Now, if you're not careful here, you may think that 2 and 10 are factors. In other words, you may think that you could cross-cancel these 2s, so the answer is 10. But this is wrong because the correct answer is what? 2 plus 10, which of course is 12. 12 divided by 2 is 6. So again, you cannot cross-cancel unless you have like factors, and that means that the numbers or variables are separated by multiplication. All right, now it gets even more trickier when you are dealing with algebra. Let's take a look at this example. So we have x plus y over x. So a lot of algebra students will see this x and this x right here and cross cancel. So they'll have their answer as y. Again, this is wrong because x and y up here in the numerator are not uh, factors, right? So this is a sum. 
Now, if I had the problem written this way, x, y, this is x times y here, you can cross cancel these x's, so the answer is y. Again, a big part of learning math is to avoid common mistakes. So if you made this error, but now you understand that's what counts. Okay, so if you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you are ready to master math, again, make sure to check out my full courses at tcmathacademy.com. You can find links to all of this in the description below. And with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.